Hi, Jackson here at FreeGuitarMentor.com. Put your left foot in. Put your left foot out. Put your left foot in. Now shake it all about. The kid song I have for you today is, has been enjoyed for years and years by many kids in many classrooms and at home as well. So if you're a teacher or a parent, this is a great song. It gets the kids active. It gets them up and doing things while they're singing. And uh, you're going to have a great time with this one. Here's the Hokey Pokey. Okay, uh, with the Hokey Pokey, I, uh, I'd like to show you two ways of playing it. And, and the first way is sort of with beginning guitar players in mind that just want to play with their, with their own kids, play a song for them, sing with their own kids, or sing in the classroom. And you, you don't have to be a master guitarist to play it this way. It's just sim um, simple chords. This is a two chord song. And so the first way I'm going to show you is basically simple strumming pattern uh, and the simple way of playing the Hokey Pokey. Okay, just a nice simple way to play this song. Simple strumming pattern, two chords, C and G. You put your right foot in, you put your right foot out, you put your right foot in, and you shake it all about. You do the Hokey Pokey and turn yourself around That's what it's all about You put your left foot in You put your left foot out You put your left foot in And you shake it all about You do the Hokey Pokey and turn yourself around That's what it's all about Now, if you'll notice there, I was playing the C chord with the normal first, second, and third finger position, open C. But with the G chord, I was using my second, third, and pinky fingers to play the G, just because it's so easy to grab off the C. All you need to do is move your second and third fingers up like that, and then add the pinky to that G note on the high string. Easy change. Okay, to fancy things up just a little bit, <clears throat> for those of you who want to challenge yourselves a little bit more, we're just going to do a couple things differently. We're going to put an accent note into each C and G chord, a couple of accent notes actually, that really sort of take the place of, well, almost a bass line in the song. We're also going to put the three accent, the three chords that are in that song, and the C, it's a C chord in this case, put some accents on those chords and you'll hear that. And then finally, we're going to do a little run-up at the end just to finish off each verse, and I'll show you what that run is as well. So here's a little bit of a jazzed-up version. You put your right foot in, you put your right foot out, you put your right foot in, and you shake it all about. You do the hokey-pokey and turn yourself around, that's what it's all about. You put your left foot in, you put your left foot out, you put your left foot in, and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and turn yourself around, that's what it's all about. So the accent notes for the C chord, or the bass line, is just taking that third finger and moving it from the C note, down to the G note. When I switch to the G chord, I'm going to play the G string, the G note on the E string, on the sixth string, and I'm also going to play the open D string, the open fourth string. And then the run up. The run up is G A B C. Make sure you use your second finger for the second fret and your third finger for the C note. Well, there you go. There's the hokey pokey. Enjoy that one and enjoy your kids.